Okay, so if you're interested in VIP Kid, these tips will be helpful. Also, if you're a new hire, these tips are um, things that I'm learning. I'm a month in right now. I just taught my, I think it was 12th class, and um, I got, it's my week, it's week four. I got in on a Friday, opened up classes on that Saturday or Sunday. I was nervous, and so I took a day, <laughs> and then um, I was booked that next week over the Sunday night, and then uh, I've gradually increased classes since then. But I want to encourage you guys that the average time to get your first class is a month. In one of the, the workshops I did, they said like up to a month, like that's totally normal. So don't stress and don't compare yourself. Like I think some people, I think some of it's luck. I think um, for me, I, I think I had a solid video up front. Like for a new person, my video was solid and my photos were solid. Um, I'm a graphic design background and so that, and I'm an art teacher. Those things are things I have skills in. I'm willing to help you too if you want to be my referral. I'm totally willing to help you and be be critical of the things that can improve those videos. But don't compare yourselves, you guys. I think there's so much on Facebook and it's so much of, oh, I got booked, like my frenzy was amazing. Oh, I'm only a weekend and I've taught this many classes. Oh my gosh, ah. And there's people who are the opposite where it's like, I've been here for 80 days and haven't taught a single class. And so I think if we compare ourselves, it's going to beat us up. I think there's a way, like, you can you can read those things and be like, okay, this is advice. Like, how can I do better? But there's some things that are just not in your control. If your bio and everything you can do is good, if you've been taking workshops, if you're certified for as many things as you are able to certify for, you've done everything under your in your control. There's, I don't know how the algorithms work. I don't know how all of that works, but... Don't compare yourself because it, it's, there's always going to be someone doing better. Like I'm very content with having taught like a few classes. I'm not opening any peak peak times. I've never opened a single peak peak time. I don't plan to. I'm, I've only opened I think six peak hours and I taught one of them. I don't plan to open those times. Like I am not, I know who I am and I know my, like my body. I know that I need sleep. I need, I'm working nights because I like nights. I'm a night person. I'm not... I can't compare myself to those. Like, if you open all those peak, peak times, yeah, you're going to get more bookings. That's okay. Get more book. If that's what you need in your life, get it. For me, I don't need that right now. I need to rest and take care of my health while doing something that is fun and enjoyable and, and making income. But don't compare yourself. Know what you need. Know what your goals are. Know that you're going to build up. It takes time with VIP Kit. I've heard that other companies go quicker. Um, VIP Kit is a little slower. I think personally that's great. I was super sick after my first class for like a full week. And so like building up slowly was a good thing. I like stresses. Like it's just, it's, I personally love it and I wouldn't change it. But that's me. Like know yourself. So, so average is two to four weeks and then you get a booking and then you kind of build up. So I think I started earlier than that, but I think the average is where you get one booking and then they start to come in faster. I'm not positive. She didn't, the, the, uh, not, the workshop leader didn't really explain that, but it, it's average to start within a month. But that average means that some people are going to start earlier and some people are going to start later and that's okay. That doesn't mean that it's bad or wrong. That's okay. Yes, do those things. Don't compare yourselves, you guys. I think one of the things that helped me with this, I had a professor, actually graphic design kind of like, it's, it's brutal. You, yeah, but I had a uh, professor who brought in a professor who would like throw your stuff on the floor and walk on it and like he'd burn his own students work and like <laughs> like like it's all we have strengths and weaknesses like I have had pieces of artwork ripped apart in front of the glass like oh my gosh like it's it's okay we're gonna do things wrong sometimes we're gonna do things right sometimes like it's not it's not personal like if my video I one of my photos on on my profile my third photo is not great that doesn't mean I'm not great like if your video is not great that doesn't mean you're not great like, there's critique, there's things you can do to make those videos better, better, and to appeal to more people, but that doesn't mean you're not great. Like, don't take it personally. Like, my personal belief is that God created us, and we are all individuals, and all have our strengths and weaknesses, and God loves us. But, like, so, so, like, I personally believe that. Like, it's okay if, if, if I get, like, lots of four Apple reviews, or three Apple reviews, or two Apple reviews that are deserved, like, that's okay. Like, I don't want that to happen, but... <laughs> It's it's okay. Don't take these things personally, you guys, and don't compare yourself to other teachers. Don't compare yourselves to other teachers. You're different. You're you. Come up with your style. You're everything.